In this problem, we have to find the sum of this infinite geometric series. So in order to find the sum of an infinite geometric series, all you do is you take this number and you plug it in. And that goes up top. So it's 3 and then 9 tenths to the 0. And on the bottom, you have to have uh, 1 minus r. This is, of course, assuming that the series converges. And in this problem, we're told it does converge. We can also easily verify it. Notice that r here is 9 over 10. It's whatever is being raised to the nth power. So on the bottom here, we'll just put 1 minus r. So 1 minus 9 tenth. Again, every single time, all you do is you take this number and you put it where the n is. And that goes up top. Okay, That's the top part of your fraction. And on the bottom part of your fraction, it's always 1 minus r. And the beauty of this formula or this technique is that it always works regardless of what's here. If you have a 3 here, it's the same thing. You just put a 3 where the n is. So this is equal to, let's see, 9 tenths uh, to the 0 is 1. So it's 3 times 1. On the bottom, we have 1 minus 9 tenths. We can think of that as 10 tenths minus 9 tenths. This will be 3. And then 10 tenths minus 9 tenths is 1 tenth. So this is 3 times 10 over 1. So this is equal to 30. And that would be the final answer to the question. That's it.